Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Naval Action. So, today I'm going to do a little manual sales guide. And in this guide I'll basically go through tacking and jibbing and just turning with manual sales. So, I'm in this battle, I just finished it, cap this trader. So let's go through how to use manual sales. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this guide is because the uh, old one I have is, well, old. And I've learned some things since then. So let's begin with uh, the basics, the key binding which you need. You need you need no Q to turn your front guards to the left like so. E to turn it like so to the right. You can also double tap either of them. And it will automatically do it. I'm not touching the Q button now, but it keeps on going until it hits the end. Like so. And you can use F to go back to auto. And then it goes to auto. Okay, excuse me for a second. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm just... I'm fighting a cold. And you can do the same with the rear yard, except the key bindings are Z. Double tap that to... Turn to the left, or just hold it in if you want, and C, hold it in or double tap it to turn to the right. So these are key bindings are vital, and of course F, which can be useful. <coughs> so we're now sailing downwind. Let's uh, go into how to use the manual sails to improve your turning speed. Now normally you just use your rudder to turn, and as you can see it's not too slow it's not too fast a trick you can use to improve it at the cost of from what I've seen at the cost of speed is you use your manual sails front yards to the left if you want to turn left and rear yard, rear yard to the right if you want to turn left however one thing is you mustn't do like this if you do it like this just keep it static like that you kind of work against the turning what you want to do is keep the yards kind of parallel parallel to the wind so we so we keep on turning the front yards as we turn let's go the other way and I'll show it so we turn to the right we want the rear yards to turn to the left but we keep them parallel so if you see here in the weather gauge we try to keep the line roughly parallel with the line of the wind and that's the best method of turning that way you turn quicker at again the cost of speed but you turn a lot quicker and you can even use this method to turn without using your rudder so if your rudder is shut up you can just I'm releasing the rudder now it should continue turning I'll be it slowly but it's still turning let's show the other way so front yards to the left Rear yards to the right. And if you look at the weather gauge, soon we'll be hitting 135. And we keep on turning. Of course, if you're selling, uh, selling beam reach, it's harder to do. It's a lot slower. Uh, but this is without using rudder, as you see. Look at the speed, though. You sacrifice a lot of speed. So that's basically how you also jib. And jib is when you cross the wind when going downwind. So some people get it wrong. I just wanted to clarify it here. It's not a important, but it does annoy me. As someone who's sailed a bit in real life, it annoys me. And here we go for the jib again. Okay, let's go out and tack. So again, we want to keep the front sails roughly parallel with the wind. That's the best. Also note, I'm not the most experienced sailor, so although this should mostly be correct, I might be saying some things here and there wrong. And we're getting close. And when we tack, the rear yard, we turn to the right, if we're turning to the right, while we keep the front yard to the left. And we quickly tack. And we wait for it, wait for it. 
and about here front yard we turn to the left again and the rear yard we keep parallel to the wind roughly so that went pretty well now I'm going to show you how it is compared to not using the yard excuse me again <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I have a bad cold. It's really annoying. I don't think I'll be doing any longer videos. I think I'll keep Rome Total War on hold for a bit because this cold is killing me. Ooh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Now we're going to act without using any manual sales. No deep power. No manual sales whatsoever. So we were going about what eight knots before. <laughs> we slow down to four. Three point three knots minimum speed we hit. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with manual sales. Hit about 8 knots before I start tacking. And see how slow we get. Just for curiosity. Uh, uh, but, you know, while it is possible to tack with ma without using manual sales with frigate ships, frigate sized ships. Excuse me for a moment. <coughs> <coughs> oh god, that's bad. It gets extremely hard with larger ships, like the Victory or any second or first rate, or third rate for that matter. Let's go again. So this time we're gonna use manual sails. So about eight knots again. It, it might just be placebo, but to me it feels like the tacking goes a lot quicker. And turn the front yards again. And also our minimum speed during the tack was also higher. We went down to 3.8 knots instead of 3.3 uh, knots. Half a knot might not sound a lot, but it is a significant amount. Especially when you get to those larger ships, you'll be like selling half a knot when doing the tack. So anyways, this has been a simple manual sales guide and tacking guide. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!